Hello, good morning. It is a great day. Once again, we know that this great day, why? Because we're the great God, we'll be doing great things in our lives, great things through our lives by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's so exciting to wake up, stay, and find God and hear God and listen to His direction and expect the great things that He has installed for each one of us. And to start, we again surround ourselves around the shepherd and listen to His voice. And this time, it's taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 15th chapter, beginning with verse 21. Now Jesus went away from there and withdrew into the district of Tyre and Sidon. And a Canaanite woman from that region came out and began to cry out, saying, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is truly demon-possessed. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and implored him, saying, Send her away, because she keeps shouting at us. But he answered and said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and began to bow down before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, It's not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she said, Yes, Lord, but even the dogs feed on crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, O woman, your faith is great. It shall be done for you as she is. And her daughter was healed at once. People of God, brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Now what we have here, last Sunday, we heard about a widow. A widow giving her offerings to the Lord. And how Christ commended her faith. Why? Because she was able to give everything, believing that God will not forsake her. God will not uh, abandon her, but God will always provide for her. That's why she was able to give everything. Now, here comes another woman. You know, this Tuesday, here comes another woman. This time, it's a different woman. Okay, this one is not a believer, but somebody who came from Greek uh, origin, okay, Syrophoenicia, Tyre and Sidon is, belongs to Greece already. And we know how the Greeks uh, worship other gods. But here we see this particular woman coming to Jesus and begging. And look what he said. She said, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. Wow. Imagine somebody who doesn't believe in God, in the Jewish God. And yet, at this very moment, she was crying out to Jesus and saying that Jesus is the son of David. Very few people come to Jesus seeking out for healing, okay, using this. Because they just see Jesus as somebody who would heal. But there's more to what she said, that Jesus came from the lineage of David. And that's what David, uh, that's what uh, Jesus would like to, to show forth as one of his uh, identity, that he came from the lineage of David. David. And no wonder Matthew uh, shared this particular instance in the life of Jesus you know, in his account because Matthew would like to point out to the readers that Jesus came from the lineage of David. So any instance that will uh, reinforce the, the fact that Jesus came from David he would include in his writings. And so what did Jesus say? Okay, at first the disciples tried to stop her. Okay, 
funny with the disciples now whenever people would cry at Jesus they would stop <laughs> they would try to stop those people from shouting remember at uh, one time Bartimaeus no, was also shouting Jesus son of David was crying and the disciples were the one who stopped him shut up no? but again this particular woman okay the disciples were trying to to stop him and Christ said I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And he also said, it's not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Now, this woman, instead of being offended and saying, ako, aso, no? Ganyan, no? Hindi niya nakita yun. Mas nakita niya kung ano ang magiging role ni Jesus. That he will not only minister to the people of Israel, but also to the Gentiles like her. Kung baga, that's how her faith was. No? And Jesus was amazed at the faith. And remember, this woman is not coming on her behalf no? for her own sake, but she was coming for her daughter who was demon possessed. And so, what did Christ say? Because of your faith, your daughter has been set free from the demons. Okay, did the woman ask Jesus, Lord, you come to my house and exorcising her there? No, it's just enough for her to hear the words of Christ and believe that the, the daughter was already set free from such position. Awesome faith. And this really uh, a faith that was commended by Christ. And he granted healing. Now what would be our who got this plan for us? Okay. Something to think about. This woman was not a believer. And yet her prayers were granted by Jesus. She had a faith okay, that caused or brought freedom for her daughter, not for us. We can say that we are sons and daughters of the King. We are children of God. How much more we can go to Jesus and seek help, cry, and pray for people, for our loved ones on their behalf. Just imagine, you know, this uh, woman, the daughter, you know, demon possessed siya. Pero at one time, bigla na lang magigising siya. How come di na ako demon possessed? Something happened to me. Okay? The daughter did not pray to Jesus. The daughter did not go to Jesus and say, Set me free. It's the mother who came to Jesus and begged for help, begged for Christ's mercy. And this is an, something for us to, to be uh, excited. No? Why? Because especially us, we parents, no? we can pray for our children and expect results. We can exercise our faith on their behalf. You know, this really uh, comforted me, you know, this particular passages. Why? Because, as you may well know, I'm alone most of the time in the house. My children are away, and I do not know what they're going through. But with my prayers, I can reach out to them. I can cry to God, Lord, protect my two boys, wherever they are, whatever they're going through. I can reach out to them and I can always come to Jesus. Why? Because this is the heart of the Father. This is the love of a Father toward His sons. Likewise, to all of us as parents, we can always bow down our knees and cry out to Jesus and pray in behalf of our children. They may not realize it, but we pray for them, 
but many things are already taking place in their lives because we are praying for them. So that's something that should encourage us this day. And today, let's offer our prayers in behalf of our children, wherever they are. Just like the Syrophoenician woman, let's use exercise our faith on their behalf. Let us pray in the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Lord, as you reminded us through your words, thank you that we can pray for our children, for our sons and daughters. May we reach out to them with this hand and touch them with this hand. Bring forth the strength that we need, the faith that we need to face this day, whatever they are, over there with your hands, Lord, protect them. And may they choose to do things that they glorify you. May they choose to serve you. And may they choose to know you more. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, let's expect great things, okay? Not through our lives, not by our lives, but also through the lives of our children. Okay, great thing. Bye-bye.